16, 16 and then he said, the law and the prophets were until John. Yes. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Since that time, the kingdom of God is preached. And everybody's trying to get in the kingdom. They're leaving the law, going to the kingdom. Help me, Jesus. God is good. Uh -huh. Jesus is preaching the kingdom. Mark, Mark, 4, Mark 4 and 2 says, And he taught them many things in parables. And said, said unto them in his doctrine. Yes. Not the Pharisees' doctrine. Come on, come on. But he said in his doctrine. Yes. Anybody out there? Yes. Mark 1 and 27 said, And they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? We have heard the law before, but what is this? Uh, 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 anybody out there? What new doctrine is this? Authority command he the unclean spirit, and they do obey him. They weren't obeying the Pharisee. They weren't obeying the Sadducees. Uh huh. They were under the law. But Jesus is preaching the kingdom. The kingdom is on the scene. Miracle signs and wonders is on the scene because the kingdom is on the scene. Amen. You repent, come to John. John is the servant of 
God, I'll get to that. And then we repent. Amen. And you can be baptized. But if you don't repent, John ain't going to baptize you. Because to get into the kingdom, you got to repent. Anybody else? Uh-huh. Verse 5. And there went out unto him, remember all men pressed into the kingdom, of the land of Judea in the day of Jerusalem, and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. Anybody hear what I'm saying? That's the key to get in the kingdom. Confessing your sin. Amen. Remission of sin. Forgiveness of sin. Praise God. This is new. I can repent. Uh-huh. And because I repent, John, the servant of God, will baptize me. Uh, he won't do it unless you repent. Uh -huh. For the forgiveness of sin. Anybody out there? And I don't have to go to the priest. In other words, I don't have to go and offer a sacrifice now like I had to do under the law. God has sent a servant with power to forgive me. Once I repented of my sin. Anybody out there? My sins, to, that's what he just said. My sins to be forgiven once I've been baptized. And they ran to get into the kingdom. Y'all all right? Y'all with me? Uh-huh. Luke 3 and 30, Luke 3 and 7 says, Then said he, then said he to the multitude, John, that is, that came forth to be baptized with them. Old generation those vipers, snakes. Pastor, you ever call your people snakes? John, listen, John was a kingdom preacher. He wasn't sugarcoating nothing. He was telling it like it was. If you was a hoe, you was a hoe. You hear what I'm saying? John told it like it was because he was preaching kingdom. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Somebody say, tell it like it is. All generations of Bible who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come. There's a wrath to come. We still, we still preaching the same thing. There's a wrath to come. It's a bring for fruit worthy of repentance. Bring for bring some to proof that you repent. Well, I'm not just going to baptize you because this is the gospel of the kingdom. This is how you're getting in the kingdom. All men press into the kingdom. You have to repent. Uh, pray for fruit worthy of repentance. He said, and and begin not to say within yourself, well, you know, Abraham is our father. Uh -huh. For I say unto you that God is able to these stones raise up children unto Abraham. And now the axe is laid at the root of the tree, and every tree. Somebody say every tree. What's praying not for good fruit uh -huh. is new down. God is cutting it down. Uh huh. Somebody say he cut it down. And cast into the fire. We still are. Somebody say preach. Luke 3 and 10. Thank you, Lord. And the people asked him, saying, What should we do? What should we do then? But you know, because we get preaching now, you ain't got to do nothing. This new gospel, you ain't got to do nothing. Just believe. Like these other folk believe in who's casting out devil, but they, they didn't do nothing. Meaning that they didn't repent. See, the, the, the key to the kingdom is you got to repent. You can't get into the kingdom unless you repent. Because see, John is the pattern of Jesus. And John ain't going to baptize you until you repent. Everybody got that? Ain't no, ain't no baptism to you repent. Uh -huh. And then John says, and then he tells them, he tells them to repent. And he tells them to repent and, and he baptizes with water. And he says, someone else is coming who's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Anybody out there? He said, I indeed, Mark 3 and 11, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. Because you repent. But he that cometh after me is mightier than me, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Now, he don't baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, but you got to stick with the pattern. You got to repent. 
repent to be baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire. Everybody hear what I'm saying? Everybody going, Maka, 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 but don't mean nothing. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Uh huh. He says, uh huh. Let's talk a little bit. He said, the message was going to change. Uh, I'll put it, say it again. The messenger, John said, was going to change. Uh, I won't be preaching to you always, John said. Uh -huh. But the substance uh -huh, ain't going to change. The gospel, the good news of the kingdom was going to stay the same. Uh -huh. In which you are baptized, he said, uh, what's going to change the, the, the substance of the water is going to change to Holy Ghost and fire. Right. Yeah. I said, I can't baptize you in the Holy Ghost and fire. I can do it with water, but somebody bring it in me. Got some Holy Ghost. Got some fire. And he's going to baptize you. Yeah. Hallelujah. He said, he said, he said, uh, uh, he says here, he said, the Holy Ghost and fire and one, uh, the one baptized is Jesus. Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. You still had to repent yes, to get baptized. Uh -huh. Either in the water right. or in the Holy Ghost. Yes. Now a man will baptize you in the water yes. because he can't see your heart. Yes. He don't know if you really repent. Yes. John did his best. He said, bring me some fruit. Bring me some fruit. You done paid off what you owe somebody. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Bring me some righteous living that you doing right now. And I'll baptize you. See, there's a work you got to do. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody out there? Yeah. Uh -huh. Listen to what it said. Matthew you, 3 and 1. Uh, Matthew 3 and 1. I'm always, always getting to the subject. In those days came John the Baptist right. preaching in the wilderness. Uh -huh. You remember that? Uh -huh. And saying, repent. Uh -huh. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Uh -huh. Why didn't John change his message? Uh -huh. He's preaching the good news of the king. Uh -huh. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Elijah. Remember Jesus said, the word is being fulfilled. Uh -huh. John was spoken of in the law, but now the word is being fulfilled. It was prophesied until John, but now the word is being fulfilled. Uh huh. Uh, saying the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. That, that means you got to do something. Make his path way straight. Uh -huh. John preached the kingdom of God. Somebody say the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. Now this is it. Listen to Mark uh, 1 14. It says, Now after that John was put in prison. Somebody say, Time for a change. John was put in prison. If you've been put in prison, it might be time for a change. Because John is in prison, Jesus gets the signal saying, It's my time now. It's my season. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Because he was in, anybody out there? Yeah. Because he was in prison, Jesus said, oh, my time now. Yeah. Before he was at the wedding, at the wedding feast. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And Jesus was sitting there and they ran out of wine. Yeah. They ran out of wine. Yeah. And the mother said, Jesus, they're out of wine. He said, well, then what I got to do with you? Yeah. My time is not yet come. Yeah. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Yeah. But Jesus looking for the sign from God. When you see the Holy Ghost come down on this brother, that's the man I choose. John is out the way. John is off to the side. Jesus said, it's my time now. Anybody hear what I'm saying? It's my season. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Praise my Clap your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. The gospel of the kingdom. Yes, yes. John preached the gospel of the kingdom. Yes, yes. Jesus is now preaching the gospel, the good news of the kingdom. Yes. Uh -huh. And saying the time is fulfilled. Yes. Uh -huh. And the kingdom of God is at hand. Yes. What did Jesus say? Repent yes. ye and believe the gospel. Yes. Repent and believe the 
said the kingdom is at hand. Repent. Anybody out there? Come on now. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Sometimes I feel like John, God give me all these repent messages. But I done found out this is the good news of the kingdom. This is the gospel of the kingdom. They said when Jesus preached, uh, what Jesus preached is still good now. Because uh, he didn't preach the law. He preached the good news of the kingdom. Amen. I may not get to this later on, but I'll say it, say it right now. Somebody was saying about tithes and offering. Uh -huh. Amen. And all that kind of stuff. And say, they don't have to pay tithes and offerings no more. They ain't preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Because Jesus told the Pharisees and the Sadducees, he said, you pay tithes of this and you pay tithes of that and you pay tithes of all this stuff. But you forgot about the other stuff. He said, you should do the other stuff, but don't forget about paying your tithes. That's the gospel of the kingdom. Give you good news to repent. Yeah. I gotta give you an opportunity to repent. 
purpose of coming yeah. was to cause people to repent. Yeah. If you are already righteous, you ain't got to repent. Yeah. Jesus said, I'm looking for that sinner. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know that one, the sinner, the one in the church said, in the name of Jesus, come out? Yeah. And sleeping around? Yeah. Yeah. That one that's preaching hard and shacking up. Got girls and boys drink. Ain't that right? Yeah. One that's stealing out of the church. Come on, let's go. God wants to repent. Luke 4 and 42 said when it was when it was day. Come on, Doctor. When it was day, everybody out there? Yeah. Come on now. Stretch, stretch yourself back. Right? Stretch yourself back. Right? And when it was day, he and went into the desert, yeah. a desert place, and all the people saw him and came unto him, saying, uh, uh, Don't go nowhere, Jesus. <laughs> but Jesus said, uh, He said unto them, I must preach the gospel of the kingdom to others, therefore am I sent. You got to remember what the gospel is repent and believe that the God's kingdom is here. When you believe that and begin to walk in it, you can live. Like a child of God. But you keep believing these lies that everybody's sinning, you ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna get worth nothing. Alright. Matthew 9 and 5. Ah, yellow. That's alright. Well, it is easier to say that sin be forgiven thee or to say, rise up and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man had power on earth to forgive sin. Jesus is all about forgiving sin. They said he can seek the palsy, take up that bed, and rise and go into that house. And he arose and part in his house. But when the multitude saw it, they marveled. Yeah, this yeah. is new. And they glorified God when God had uh, God given much power to men. The gospel of the kingdom is the gospel of repentance, which brings forgiveness, which brings healing. Y'all understand? It. Once Jesus heals the man, he can be, uh, once he forgives the man, he can be healed. But because he's Jesus, he can do it either way. I forgive you. Or, or, or he can say, rise up and walk. Jesus is telling you to rise up and walk. Just forgive you of all your sin. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Because what's holding you from walking is the devil. Uh -huh. What's holding you from walking is your guilt and sin. That's why they would always say, Jesus, who did sin? This man or his mom? Because sin is what puts you in bondage. Yeah. Jesus told the man in the well, he said, he healed him. We want to be healed. Y'all know the story. Ain't got time. But he said the man, he healed the man uh, at the pool. And this is what Jesus said. He said, "Go and sin no more." Leads the worst thing. Yes. Yes. Sin is what got you in trouble. Yes. Yes. Anybody out there? Yes. I thought I had a whole lot more amens than I did. Yes. Yes. Is y'all getting ready? He says, he says, he says, Matthew 12 and 28. But if I cast out the spirits, he said, but if I cast out devils by the spirit of God, and we know he did, yes. then the kingdom of God, somebody said, is come yes. unto you. That's what Jesus said. Yes. If I cast out devils by the spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come. Yes. Not come, is come. Yes. Y'all hear me? Amen. That's the good news. Amen. It's there. He's casting out devil because the power is there for him to do. Yes. Or else, who can, uh, how can you, what? Bind a strong man, let it fall as good except you what? You gotta bind him, right? Yes. All right, yes. nine and one. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over devils and diseases. Y'all with me? Yes. So let's say he gave us power. Yes. He gave them power, then what did he do? He sent them to preach the kingdom of God yeah. Oh, yeah. and to heal the sick. Yeah. To tell the people to repent yeah. and yeah. heal the sick. That's, right. That's what it's all about, y'all. It says in Luke 9 and 10, it says, uh, it says and, the apostles, and the apostles, when they were uh, turned, they told all that they had done. And he took them and went aside privately to the desert place belonging to the, a city called Bethsaida. And the people, when they knew it, followed him, and he received them and spake, Jesus spake, unto them the kingdom of God. And he healed them that had need of healing. Y'all with me? It's all about you. You repent and get into the kingdom. Okay, Luke 9 and 10 said, Luke, the 
the ten and said, and heal the sick. He's telling him, heal the sick when you go to the city. Come on, Lord. Say unto them, the kingdom of God has come nigh unto you. But into whatsoever city you enter, he's telling them to send them out to preach the good news of the king. Yes. Whatsoever city you enter, and they receive you not. If they don't receive the message of repentance, uh -huh. you hear me? Yes. Uh -huh. yes, and they receive you not, go your way uh -huh. out of this city. Uh -huh. The same, uh huh. And, and uh, he said, and say, y'all hear me? Yes. Go your way out into the streets uh -huh. of the same city, and this is what you say. You really got to say it to the people. Get in the streets and say, yeah. whether they hear you or not, yeah. you're speaking into the atmosphere yeah. because the kingdom of God is here. Yeah. The kingdom of God is loose. Yeah. And the kingdom is listening for a specific sign. Yeah. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Yeah. This is what you say. The very dust of our, your city that cleaveth unto us, we wipe off against you. That's what I make grace. This is the kingdom of God. God is in. Rub everybody on the back to keep them in church. Tell them they sin. Help me, Jesus. Somebody say, Help me, Jesus. Against you. Notwithstanding, be ye sure of this that the kingdom of God has come now unto you. Listen to what Jesus said. But I say unto you that it shall be more powerful in the day of Sodom than for that city. Why? I told you already, they didn't have the gospel of repentance preached But I'm preaching to you, repent, and you ain't receiving. But Sodom, when they stand, when Sodom stand before the judgment, Sodom will say, hey, can we say something? Nobody told us to repent. Jesus tells us, he said, if the miracle that was done in this city would have been done in Sodom, they would have repented with sackcloth and ash. Folk think you ain't got to repent. Y'all better wake up. Uh, Woe unto thee, for rest. Woe unto thee, but I said, for the mighty works had been done in thee, which was done, uh, had been done in uh, uh, Tyre and Sidon, which had been done in you, they would have repented long time ago. Yes. Yeah. Sat cloth and ashes. Yes. Again, Sodom didn't have the gospel yeah. of repentance preaching. Yeah. Jesus' miracles were to get the people to repent. Amen. The good news of the kingdom is repentance toward God and faith toward Jesus Christ. Yes. Come on, clap your hands to the Lord right quick. Yes. Okay, let's read a little bit more. Can I read a little bit more? Luke 15. Now don't say go ahead now. You're lying in your heart now. No, I'm trying to be telling you, you make sure you're right. Because if you want me to go to hush my mouth, you keep your mouth shut when I say Don't be that analyzed and survive. Because somebody else is preaching up here today. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, 
you that all things must be fulfilled which are written in the law of Moses and the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. What he says, then open ye their understanding. Somebody said, open my understanding, Lord. Right? That they might understand the scriptures and say unto them, thus it is written, and thus it behoove Christ to suffer and to raise from the dead the third day. Everybody with me? And that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name among the nation. This is after the resurrection. He's telling them what they're going to preach after the resurrection. Anybody hear what I'm saying? That's why we're seeing great healings back in the old days for the tent revivals and stuff because these men preached repent. They hard up repent. They didn't say, if anybody won't believe in the Lord, come on up here and raise your hand. But they preached the kingdom of God. Anybody out there? Uh-huh. That repentance and remission or forgiveness of sin should be preached in my name among all nations. I'm still preaching it there. Beginning at Jerusalem. And, and ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of the Father upon you. Wait until Jerusalem. Until you can do it with power from on high. Some people ain't repentant and they will never get that power. We need to stop preaching what he said. Yes. And remission of sin. Yes. We should preach it in his name. Yes. Among all nations. Amen. This is the good news yes. of the kingdom of God. Yes. Everybody with me? Yes. Let me say this. Look at here and close. How many closing I get? What? What denomination is this? Acts 20 and 20. All right. And now it said, and how it said, Paul is speaking here, it said, how I kept back nothing, nothing. that was profitable unto you. Yes, sir. Come on, talk to but have showed you and taught you publicly, uh-huh, from house to house, mm -hmm. testifying both to the Jews. And all sorts of degrees. Yes. What did he testify? Repentance toward God and faith toward the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Acts 26 15. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? Paul is testifying. And he said, I am Jesus whom thou persecute. Yes. Uh -huh. But rise and stand upon thy feet. For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose. Yes. Somebody say, For this purpose. Yes. To make thee a minister. On, Somebody say, Praise the Lord. Yes. God made him a minister. And in witness both of these things which thou hast seen and of the things which I shall appear to thee. Yeah. God said, I got more revelation to give you. Yeah. Delivering, thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom I will send you. Yeah. Everybody listening to me. Yeah. Why are you sending me, Jesus? To open their eyes okay. and to turn them from darkness yeah. to light. Yeah. To turn them from sin to righteousness yes. and from the power of Satan yes. unto God. The power of Satan is sin. The power of Satan is deception. Yes. Turn the people from the lies, yes. from the deception. Yes. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Yes. That they may receive forgiveness of sin and an inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith in me. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes. Whereupon, O King of Ripple, I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision. Uh huh. But I showed first unto them at Damascus and at Jerusalem and throughout all the coast of Judah, and then to the Gentiles that they should repent and turn to God and do works worthy of repentance. Prove that you repent. Don't tell me you ain't shacking up no more with the man still living in your house. Oh, he in the other room. No, he ain't.
uh, 1 John 3 said, Behold, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us, uh -huh. that we should be called the sons of God. Yes, yes. yes. Uh huh. Therefore, the world knows not. The world don't know us because they don't know Him. Uh -huh. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when He shall appear, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. Amen. 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 And every, listen to this part. And every man that have this hope in himself purify himself. Yes. You got to do something. Yes. You got to stop sinning. Yes. Anybody out there? Anybody ever heard the gospel? The real gospel? Yes. They say he said he said he said uh, he purified himself even as he is pure. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. Anybody out there? Yeah. For sin is the transgression of the law. And you know, and he was, listen to this, and he was, and ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And in him is no sin. Amen. Whosoever abideth in him, sin or not. Well, that's that ain't even what the new preachers preach. Whosoever sinner is have not seen him, neither know him. I'm just telling you what the Bible says, children. Uh -huh. Little children, let no man deceive you. It's about that deception. Yeah. He that doeth righteous is righteous. Yeah. Ain't that right? Yeah. He, uh, uh, he that committed sin is what? Of the devil. Yeah. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God do have not commit sin. Why? Because he heard that good news. Amen. For his seed remaineth in him. And he cannot sin because he's born of God. Amen. In this the children of God are manifested and the children of the devil. Whosoever do have not righteous is not of God. Amen. Anybody hear me? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Neither he that loveth not his brother. Amen. I got to go with this more. Come in, Minister Byron. We're getting ready to do it. Thank you. We get ready to I'm going to hush up. I got to go. I ain't going to go through the whole thing. You're I'm going to y'all the right thing. Yes, Can y'all see? You're Can y'all see? Yes, Put your hand in the pocket. Thank you, Lord. Now, he don't know me. This is a parable. He don't know me. Right? And I catch him behind me. And I just go into the store. And all of a sudden, I catch him. But he slipped. He fast. Uh -huh. But I had to catch him with his hand in the pocket. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Amen. I ain't got to ask him, is he saved? No. 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 I ain't got to ask his name. No. I know he'll be. Yes. He that sinned is of. I ain't got to ask him what church he attend to. No. I know who he is. He tells me who he is. Yes. What you do tells me who you are. Yes. If you're a sinner, you're a sinner. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes. If you were saint, you were saint. Yeah, yeah. Let's not be deceived. If you sin and you sin and you need to stop sinning. Yeah. Why God give me these hard messages? Oh, yes. all right. That's all right. That's all right. Folk need to repent. Yeah. 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 Go back to the scripture we say and don't close this. The uh -huh. promise you don't close you. Right. Lord God. Yeah. Go ahead. You don't work in Jesus. You, you start promising. Uh -huh. Promise up. Promise up. Real quick. Gotta go. Yeah. Bless you. All right, this is the problem, son. <laughs> cast out a devil. Go ahead, cast out a devil. He cast out a devil. Uh -huh. hey. Ain't that right? Y'all yeah. see that cast out a devil? Yeah. And did many wonderful works in his name. Yeah. Go back over here. Uh -huh. Put your hand in my pocket. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So he the same fella no. I caught with his hand in the pocket. That demon got to come out. Yeah. Because God loved that person that's bound, the demon got to get set free. Yeah. God said, if they preach it for pretense, whatever they preach it for, the word of God is being preached. Yeah. But at that day of reckoning, when he's standing for me, yeah. God will say, You a thief. Yeah. 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 Anybody, anybody, anybody. Anybody want to repent today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Anybody want to change their mind today? We all got to get it right. We all got to get it right. But don't let it be too late. You know what? The preacher got to get it right. Because there were some people preaching what they The prophet got to get it right. So there were some people prophesying. This message is to everybody. If you need to repent, come on up here. We're going to pray for you. Come on. I don't know. Come on. I don't know. Talk about it. Don't think about it. Come on. 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 Come on.